A series of explosions were heard over Beirut's southern suburbs after the Israeli military demanded evacuations for some areas while Hezbollah said it was engaged in continued clashes with Israeli troops in the Lebanon border area. Israel said it had targeted the intelligence headquarters of Hezbollah in Beirut and was assessing the damage after a series of strikes on senior figures in the militant group that Iran's supreme leader condemned as counterproductive. Enemy warplanes launched two strikes on the southern suburbs, the first targeted the St. Therese area, and the second targeted the Burj al barajna area, Lebanon's national news agency said. An Israeli military statement said the Army of Israel had struck Hezbollah terrorist targets and weapon storage facilities in Beirut. Israeli warplanes hit targets belonging to Hezbollah's intelligence headquarters in Beirut, the statement added. They had also hit Hezbollah weapons storage facilities in the area of Beirut. Reporting secondary explosions after the strikes, indicating the presence of weaponry. Earlier, Israel military spokesman Avichay Adri issued an urgent warning to the residents of the southern suburb of Burj al barajna and Hadith to leave these areas. Lebanon's Hezbollah movement and its foe Israel have been exchanging near-daily cross-border fire for nearly a year in fallout from the Gaza war. But since September 23, Israel has launched devastating airstrikes on targets in Lebanon. The UN peacekeeping force in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, said that it would not leave positions in the country's south despite what it said was an Israeli request to relocate from some of them. Peacekeepers remain in all positions and the UN flag continues to fly, it said. Lebanon's government says more than 2,000 people have been killed there in the past year, with most in the past two weeks. A UN spokesperson, Stefan Dejaric, called the toll on civilians, totally unacceptable.